Alright. I guess that's kind of cool. Edgeborough Lane. Hmm. After I get, um... Oh, the little baby chickens! They're not ready for Pulse yet, though. Not ready for Pulse. Basically, I feel my theory was correct that gaming PC is way better than console in this generation. It, like, different strokes for different folks. Some people, they don't want to be bothered with a PC, they just want a game. But yeah, for me, it's always been gaming PC. Like, you can emulate, like, between 50 to 100 different consoles and, and get a hold of the games and play them. You can, you can play decades worth of gaming. For me, it's not even a contest. It's like, of course, duh. But uh, PCs themselves come with their own you know, range of issues that you just deal with, you know? I, I put in 10 grain. The chickens are no... Okay, sure, sure, sure. Right, right, right. I'm just trying to get a, a grasp of what I need to do. Okay, the crusher. Let's get some lime power, uh, lime powder, so I can, um... Make that glass window, which is needed for an upgrade. Rah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, but of all your buddies have a, if all your buddies have a console, it makes sense to get what your mates have if multiplayer matters to you. True. Like uh, I know that a lot of Xbox players, whenever there's a Gears of War or Call of Duty or a Battlefield, like you know, they'll get it for that specific purpose. There's lots of people that do the um, the big RPG games. What's a big RPG game on a console, though? Yeah, I, I don't know. And some of the shooters as well. You know, Fortnite's still popular. Um, Valorant, but that's more of a PC game. Yeah, but I get your point, Mr. Jia. Same goes for PC. If your mates all have PC, then go with that, yeah. It's always nice to have both. But, um, yeah, like... For a very long time now, it's been very difficult to get a Xbox Series X or a PS5 because of supply issues and the Corona stuff. All my buddies are busy with work and a family's now... Ah, oh, okay, yeah. And spread out to so many different countries, sadly. When we hang out, it's a long phone call or a pint. That do be how it is, though. That's the case with me and you, dude. Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does it... Oh, no, no. I was wondering why it wanted me to crush some cereal. Uh, sugar cane, might I be able to... Yeah, oh, I can probably put that on the, the turtle's back and harvest it. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do more lime crushing. And then I'll also crush some, some quartz, yes. I'm a mix. I just want to gain, but the cost of consoles nowadays... Yeah, that's that's true. Like, how much is the PS5? It's like between six and seven hundred Australian dollars, I think. Plus, I know the benefits of PCs. I'd much rather buy, build a PC. Oh, I'd, I'd much rather build a PC, but um, with all the crypto mining stuff and the scalpers, like, I, I had to buy a pre build. Um, it killed me, but you know, this will last me for a while still. It hasn't died on me, so. Well, you will be back in Japan, and I may be keen to do an Australian-New Zealand trip at some point. Yeah, no choice this year to get a GPU. A shower. And we crochet it. No way that cat would stick around if I was doing this shit. It'd be Audi 5000. I think that's the route I'll have to go, unfortunately. Pre-built. Yeah. Just... Do your research, you can you can find some decent um, things um, for the price. Um, but they really are, some of them are really trying to to gouge the consumer. And I think it's it sucks, but it is what it is. I chose gaming laptop, got the best model from last year on sale. I'd love to build a PC, learn about it and stuff, but everyone says good luck with the GPU. Absolutely true. Yeah. It's just it's just hard to get your hands on something decent, man. Um, I tried, um, but I wasn't, I wasn't prepared to pay the markup. Like, it, they're going for insane prices. Yeah. 
I feel like this machine would work well for me for a good six to eight years because I'm not a hardcore gamer. Yeah. You can squeeze a lot of performance out, especially um, if you know what you're doing. Like, uh, I feel like Windows OS, like it, it just, it fills your computer with crapware. So if one day you convert to Linux, you will definitely get easily six to eight years out of anything. Um, I think that's enough for that music. <clears throat> the biggest reason I want a PC for is streaming, yeah. Yeah. I stream from a laptop, but it just isn't optimal. But I also play modern games, etc. Fair point in Linux, yeah. Are you hungry already, dude? Um, I think I gave you this last time. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, I shall give you... This? Oh, that's right, carbs. Um... Ba ba ba. Do you like dessert? Like the syrup, like fruity pebbles. That's certainly like a carb. He's like, mmm, I love it. Asshole. Let's change it to Gwen's theme. Gwen's theme is nice and relaxing. I mean, I have enjoyed even playing games that are like seven plus years old now, like Alien Isolation. Is that seven years old now? Speaking of alien games, there's like a brand new one that's um, uh, co-op. I, I can't remember what it's called. It's like a $60 Australian game. And I haven't picked it up yet, but I'm thinking about it. Looks kind of cool. I'm going to stream tomorrow. But lately I've been having network issues. And like I mentioned, being on a laptop, I feel bottlenecked with things I can do. It's tough when you're doing it on a laptop. I've only ever streamed once on a laptop, I think, and it didn't work out so well. So, yeah, I hear you, Mr. Jow. It's probably best to, um, there's also refurbished, um, and there's also second hand, and you could maybe cannibalize a second hand one. It wouldn't be top of the line, though. It's just tough. Oh. I regret buying Diablo 2 Resurrection. That is like a black hole of time, and you are just doing runs to harvest cool items. I mean, it feels like that. Diablo 2, man. The nostalgia bomb is real. Uh, I mean, I'm just doing retro, so it shouldn't be an issue, but still. Yeah, I know. You're doing mostly NES and stuff. It's more, I think, the, the OS and stuff in background. Yeah. I feel like um, Windows 10 and above are not friendly for um, PCs with like low to mid specs. And especially not for laptops. But yeah. Oh. Alright, this dude's mean someone. For a midnight tryst. Midnight tryst. I'm playing hardcore barbarian doing heavy magic find. I feel like when I die and the character is gone, I can move on. Sometimes it'd be like that. Oh, I'm being propositioned. So, that door's locked, yeah, I thought so. Out of way! You doing up on the roof, dude? Oh, sure, okay. He's the Lizard King, of course. Isn't that a um, Simpsons reference? Like Lisa? I am the Lizard Queen. Yeet. <laughs> I've been recommended some pre-builds, but they're like um, 1500 uh, Canadian dollars. That's a lot to spend at once. Building a PC, I could pick up the parts over time. That was, I think, everyone's idea, but then it's like, oh, I just need to find a GPU now. And that's like 3000 for like, you know, a piece of shit. And you're like, oh, screw my life. Because, I mean, I had everything I could have cannibalized out of the old computer. I was just like, yeah, yeah, let's just find another thing. And it's like, nope. You're not, you're not going to find that other thing. And I was like, really? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, aw. Shit. 
shopping. Mm -hmm. Medicine. Oh, he's a druggie. Mm -hmm. oh, I knew it. That's why. That's why Astrid left him, or he left Astra because he's a druggie. But shoot, I don't need a thirty-six. Oh, right, right, right. The the new um, AMD thing, <laughs> the 30, 60, 30, 70, 30, 80. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, top of the line would be nice, but yeah. I think it's just because, like, with all the scalping and stuff, like, people just became a bit more interested in, um, you know, graphic card news. So the, the launch of the um, 3060, which is, like, a step up in architecture, that grabbed people's attention. But the thing is, like, the, the newest stuff is always going to be the most expensive, so... When you combine that with the scalping, it's like, oh my god, I can't afford, I can't afford graphic card. It's like, nah, you can't afford the top of the line. But yeah, I mean, we get it. We get it. Did you know that some Jinja um, shrine in Japan sell PC Onamori um, Guardian sort of pendant charms in a PCI format, so you can plug them into your computer for protection? That's hella tight. I like that. I can't stand that crypto miners use GPUs for that shit. Well, the manufacturers of the GPUs are on the same wavelength because I think that they're trying to change the way that they make the cards so that it's not used for that purpose anymore. So, yeah. Can't AMD or uh, NVIDIA just get around this bot thing? It's a difficult thing. They must not give a shit they're getting their dollars. That's what people assume, but I think at the end of the day, like, customer goodwill does count for something. It's not just purely profit. I think that they're aware of the problem, but, I mean, just like Twitch is aware of its bot problem, it's just an incredibly difficult thing to, to solve, technically, it seems. I would love for them to figure out a solution, because the scalping bots, they're getting ridiculous. Most cryptocurrency is centralized scam, sadly. Pretty much all the ones you can mine with a GPU now. Right, like, uh, like, Ethereum is considered like a second one only to Bitcoin, isn't it? So Bitcoin's big baby, big, big, big papa, big daddy. Then you got Ethereum, then you got Monero, and then you got the rest, like Dogecoin. I'm so jealous of those who have a PC, like a good one. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like, um, like give it half a year to a year. And people will be able to buy, you know, what they want. It, it's gonna, it's gonna suck. It's gonna be expensive, but they'll be able to get it. My friend in New Zealand had a six GPU rig mining Ethereum. It cost him 15k in New Zealand to put it together. He makes 500 bucks a month in Ethereum for 30 bucks power consumption. Okay, so 500 a month. So. 6,000 a year. So it would take him like a little bit under three years to break even. Plus he's got to put in the, the 30 for the power consumption. I mean, I guess it's one way you could use a PC. I'll get one someday, but yeah. I have no faith in Ethereum. I don't think any crypto that exists now will be the one, but they are creating the foundation. Yeah. I mean, cryptocurrency, like, um, like, the, the technology of the blockchain and all that. I think people have been saying for years, though, like, oh, this, this, this technology is going to change everything. Like, I've had to think about that lately. It's like, like what's, what's it going to change fundamentally? What's, what's it going to enable in the future that's going to make our lives so much greater? I mean, right now, all you have are the, um, the assets. But uh, I think it's a vast topic, a vast topic that I... I reluctant to delve into. And considering the Ethereum is going up progressively this year, he is reaching his cost of capital quite fast. It's going to replace fiat currency. Well, I'm not going to get into the debate about um, crypto. I mean, I'm just, I'm ignorant to it. Life knows my position on it. What the fuck? There's a raccoon in the, in the window. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the trader. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. I was getting caught up in the, the chat conversation. You'd expect fun to... Yeah. Right, this, this Giovanni is definitely set up to be like a rogue. Like a dodgy character. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, does that update a quest at all? Oh, okay, so he's not going to let me in the shit shack, but he's going to talk to me through the window. Oh, I see how it is. I feel Bitcoin will end up as a verifiable, scarce resource that sits as a layer held by corps and governments to back fiat insurance. Remember, though, North Korea has a sizable portion of the Bitcoin. But let's not even get into it. Um, so that's his name. Randy, you're different. Right, 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 Theodore. Oh. So this place is like the black market. Hear me out. Sure. You do look pretty shady. Oh my god. I like this guy already. He's gonna save me money. What's that? Warranty? Oh, we don't have them. Okay. All right. Let's let's sell let's sell Randy some stuff. I think the worry is that Satoshi has like um, one twenty one of the supply if he's out there. Well, even even if he's dead, um, the fact is it's it's locked up. No one can get to it. So. Last I'll say is I'm all for crypto if it becomes viable. Now it's just a stock market you can trade with, really. Yeah, it feels kind of like a stock, doesn't it? Really, the way it's it's um, as an asset, it's kind of like a stock. Um, looks like I can't sell you many. Oh, oh do I want to sell diamond? I'll sell you one diamond. Sell you some of that. Lightning in a bottle? No. Locked up is fine, just makes it more scarce. Danger is some, if someone has it and intends to dump it at some stage. Well, like, it would make sense for this uh, Satoshi person to eventually secrete it out. Yeah. And then, but then the hunt would be on. The thing is, like, he has too much of it. He, His life would literally be in danger, I feel. Because the, the market, or, you know, people would detect on the, the blockchain who has been trying to get rid of their Bitcoin and they'll trace it. So he's literally in a situation where he's sitting on like, a, I think it's like a billion, it's over a billion dollars at this point. Um, so if he tried to get rid of it, like there'd be people that would be willing to kill him. So how can, how can you enjoy something you can't obtain? I like the little places you visit in this. The exploration is really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's not as big as Skyrim. But the, the, I mean, this is not really meaning to be Skyrim. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I think he disappeared because he knew the project couldn't progress with a central figurehead. Who knows what this guy thought? It was definitely ahead of his time. Market cap of Bitcoin is 1.5 trillion. So yeah, 1.5 trillion, right? And then if this guy's got 125th... One tw so a... 1 out of 21% of 1.5 trillion. But yeah, he's he's worth billions. But he can never touch it. Skyrim, dude. Skyrim's my second favorite game. My my favorite of all time is Final Fantasy IV for the SNES. But um, yeah, Skyrim's like... Skyrim, um, sorry, Final Fantasy VII is right up there. Uh, maybe top 10. I don't want to talk about my top 5 right now because... My brain's a bit hazy with this game, but it's definitely top 10 Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 4, first, and Skyrim for me is definitely second. I'd say definitely at this point. I mean, the anniversary edition is coming out on the anniversary of Skyrim. Skyrim was first released the 11th of November 2011. In uh, a couple weeks, it's going to be the 11th of November 2021. 10th year anniversary. They're going to release it with 500 uh, mods. They're going to build it in and they're going to introduce fishing. That's one thing. How many editions have they been on it? Oh god. More than 5 less than 20? <laughs> it's going to be the uh, the Bond Day Street Fighter 2, isn't it? Uh, you see that comic strip where the time traveler travels back from the future? That's cool though. Yeah, it's kind of cool. 
it is kind of cool that a game is so popular that it has like a bajillion different versions and people willing to buy them.